chocolate, the ultimate decadent food. From the most highbrow confectionery, made for the most discerning of tastes, to the no-holds-barred joy of its more regular fans, chocolate kicks our brain chemistry into overdrive. From that initial flood of endorphins to that final wash of guilt. Dark, milk, white, Belgian, Swiss, hot, or bunny, there's a kind for you to enjoy or hate yourself for. This is the uncommon history of chocolate. Chocolate is made from cacao beans, which are actually seeds of the fruit that grows on the cacao plant. But what we think of today as chocolate had a long evolution. Native to South and Central America, cacao trees have been harvested by the Olmec people as long ago as 1000 BCE. The beans were harvested, fermented, dried, ground up, then mixed into a hot drink. So, in the history of chocolate, hot chocolate came first. Nothing like today's sugar-sweetened concoction, this was usually mixed with chiles to make the traditional cacao drink. When the Mayan civilization grew to power, they loved their cacao. The 7th century king of the city-state of Tikal was named O Cacao, or King Chocolate, a lofty title as it was called Food of the Gods. The trees were considered sacred, and important dead were even buried with bowls full of cacao for the afterlife. In fact, identifying the word cacao inscribed on those containers was key to deciphering the Mayan hieroglyphic writing. To the Aztecs, chocolate was at the center of the economy. Cacao beans were currency and could be used to purchase food, clothing, and other goods. The great Aztec ruler Montezuma was said to consume 50 cups of chocolate per day and amassed a collection of one billion beans, making him one of history's first billionaires. The Spanish explorer Hernán Cortés was gifted chocolate in Montezuma's court. The spicy red drink wasn't exactly the gold that Cortés had been searching for until he realized maybe it was and the Spanish promptly took over production of the beloved beans. Europeans found the new chocolate drink refreshing, but didn't love the bitter taste. The race was on to figure out what to mix with cacao to make it more palatable. The Spanish started mixing it with sugar, replacing the spicy with sweet. Hoping to outdo the Spanish, the Italian Grand Duke Cosimo de Medici had a recipe that required 10 days, thousands of jasmine flowers, and just a dash of ambergris, the intestinal secretions of a humpback whale. Other Italian chocolate recipes included a lasagna with a chocolate and anchovy sauce. The Europeans were also in a race to figure out the best way to use chocolate as a medicine. In the 17th century, European medicine was based on humorism, which was all about balance. Cacao beans were cold and dry, so could balance out a fever, which was hot. On the other hand, chocolate was hot and dry, so could be used to treat colds or humid illnesses in the chest and stomach. Doctors also discovered that chocolate was an excellent aphrodisiac. Madame de Pompadour, the official mistress of France's King Louis XV, used it to treat sexual dysfunction. And while humorism, fortunately, has fallen out of favor, today we know that medieval doctors were on to something, as chocolate is chock full of chemicals, such as phenylethylamine, cannabinoids, and theobromine. At 54% fat, cacao doesn't mix well with water making chocolate difficult to produce. Enter the Dutch chocolate maker Van Houten, who invented a method of using a hydraulic press, separating the fatty cocoa butter and leaving behind cocoa powder, the basis for all modern chocolate. Later, J.S. Fry & Sons realized adding the cocoa butter back in at a later stage in the process allowed for a solid, moldable, eating chocolate. And the first chocolate bar was born. In Switzerland, chocolatier Daniel Peter had been trying to add milk to chocolate, but he found that the water in milk would result in mildew, which was not a good flavor outcome. He turned to his neighbor, Henry Nestle, who had just invented a process to make powdered milk for baby food. In 1879, the two men formed the Nestle Company and brought milk chocolate to the market. But it was the Cadbury family who really set the bar for selling chocolate. John Cadbury and his brother were Quakers, who sold tea and coffee as an alternative to alcoholic drinks. When they 
adopted drinking chocolate into the fold, they found it quickly became the company's best-selling product. But the company really took off when sons Richard and George took over. They marketed the very first chocolate box, called Fancy Boxes, in 1861. Then the very first heart-shaped chocolate box for Valentine's Day, and smooth chocolate eggs for Easter. Cadbury created ads linking chocolate more to emotions or ideas than the product itself, setting the stage for a whole new kind of marketing. During World War II, the Germans came up with an inventive new use for chocolate. Noting Winston Churchill's love of the sweet treat, they invented a bomb made of steel covered with a thin coating of real chocolate. The plan was to smuggle the chocolate bar bomb into Churchill's office, and when he broke off a piece, after a seven-second delay, it would detonate. But they never got close enough to plant it, and the bomb was a bust. After World War II, Americans began experimenting with ways to improve their radar technology. Physicist Percy Spencer was standing in front of a magnetron when the chocolate bar in his pocket began to melt. Spencer realized that the microwaves emitted by the magnetron could be used to heat food and turned his discovery into the microwave oven. In modern times, chocolate comes in infinite varieties and in multiple recipes that are icons in themselves. From the disingenuous German chocolate cake, invented by an American named Sam German, to the iconic bars of every shape, variety, and mix. Some made without nuts, while the ones that are use 20% of the world's peanuts and 40% of the world's almonds. Chocolate is made for every taste. You can even find Cosimo de' Medici's jasmine and ambergris recipe, or the traditional chile-infused drink of the Mayans. Unhealthy snack, exotic confectionery, or borderline religious experience, everyone has strong feelings about chocolate.